Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. Today we are diving into some of the early access apps that I am really excited about this year. So these are productivity apps mostly that are in early access or in early stage development and I am really really excited about them because they offer something new and something really cool in the market. The first one is one that I've talked about a lot and one I am testing out for myself. This app costs right now $10 each month if you go for the three month uh, paying plan. So $30 for three months. That's how much I am paying for it right now. But this app, I have shown it before. I will link a card to a video where I actually review this a little bit deeper and I'm going to do a tutorial on this later but basically this is great for quick capturing so it does an amazing job at quick capturing things at easily uh, capturing your different ideas capturing things from the web even YouTube videos and transcripts from YouTube videos it has everything you would need in a note-taking app such as backlinking it even has a serendipity feature as well you can connect different things together it has an inbox where you can place all of your notes and you can go ahead and process them later it has a uh, a few ways to organize things you can use tags you can use the backlinks or you can do nested cards but this is amazing for a note-taking app and a second brain system that's what this is good at it has tasks as well i am not actually using the tasks i use the tasks inside of this app to just write down ideas and things i come over then i move them someplace else to actually do them but overall this app is uh, amazing and it is looking really cool for being such uh, at a at such an early uh, stage it is doing an amazing job and this is probably the one i am most excited about because it seems like it is working for me personally as a note-taking app so i'm really excited to see how it continues to develop and i may even use this as my go-to note-taking app it has almost everything you need and it does such a good job at capturing content whether that's your ideas or capturing something from the web uh, it does an amazing job it has a mobile capture app as well which i like because i do not like actually going into my note taking app on my phone i like to capture things have them in an inbox and when i get home i can start organizing things that's how i do my note taking um you can use the co command command l to open this up almost anywhere when you're on the mac it is unfortunately only available on ios and mac so you will need to be inside the apple ecosystem however it is a really exciting application so the next app is one I have also talked about before. So the two first ones uh, are apps I have talked about before, but uh, this is called Napkin and it is also a note-taking app. This wants you to take short notes and it uses AI to connect and tag different notes. And it is especially the connection between notes that is really exciting. So I am trying to dive into how we can use a note-taking app to actually generate ideas and not only store different ideas that's something i am working really hard on right now and once i have done it and figured it out i will probably do a video on it but this app actually does that for you and it does quite a good job it is again still really early as you can see when i press one note it appears with the notes that might be similar and it does a good job um so all of these are connected to employer branding uh this is actually the same note uh this is about branding in general and this is uh 
about employer branding, a stat about employer branding. So it does quite a good job at actually connecting my different notes together. I am uh, really happy to see that the app works. Uh, otherwise, I would probably not recommend it. It has search function as well. It has an inbox uh, when uh, for connecting, uh, collecting notes when you're on the go uh, and it also has a daily mix which is a serendipity feature so it has a lot of great things inside of it uh, and it is looking uh, like a great application uh, the only thing is that it is really early and i haven't put enough notes into it to actually test it out at a higher level than this. I think I have around 20, 30 notes inside of it, but I'm not sure how this will perform once you have hundreds or even thousands of notes inside of here. But as of right now, it is looking really good. Uh, and it sort of removes uh, the need to organize and connecting things uh, with backlinks when the AI can do it for you. I believe that this is probably the future of note taking, but again, it is really early days. Another one I have here, this one is still in early access and I haven't gotten access to it yet, but it is a note taking app called Gather, uh, which is looking really exciting. So they haven't come out with the pro, uh, uh, pricing yet but their current goal is to make gather a one-time universal payment for all devices that means mac ipad and iphone again an uh, apple oriented uh, application a lot of apps are getting more and more apple oriented which is a shame i own a macbook i've always had an iphone so personally it isn't a problem but it is uh, a shame that uh, more people are not working, uh, or at least I have not been able to find newer apps for the Windows and Android. Let's take a look at these features. Uh, so you have journal thoughts, you have journal plus calendar, you can search the journal, your daily word count, you can export and import uh, focus mode. So this looks like a great way to uh, both to use this as notebook uh, and uh, to use this as a journal and to have sort of a way to, if you write articles or essays or publish anything written online or even make YouTube videos, you have to script just to use myself as an example because I do all of these things. This looks like a really cool feature with your daily word count. So you can set yourself a goal at, of writing, uh, writing, let's say, a thousand words each day. And you can actually uh, look and see whether or not you're on track. Uh, journal plus calendar is also a cool feature. Journal is something a lot of note-taking apps do have. Uh, but as I said, it is still really early it is looking really beautiful which is something i like in a note-taking app uh, but it looks like it has both notebook journal and a library which is a place to collect and organize inspiration use our browser and mobile extension to save links photos videos from your favorite websites and apps so it seems like it will do a good job for those people who have a more visual bent and like to save images and pictures uh, to their second brain. This looks like it is doing a great job at that. And the app is looking really beautiful. Again, something uh, which is really exciting. I am, uh, I have signed up to get early access. So once I have early access, I will probably do a video on this as well. I just need to try it out and see how it works but it is looking like a really exciting app and it is a uh, local first as well which is something i know a lot of people do like the next one is actually called uh space uh this is uh um an 
OS, that operating system, that's probably the best word for it, uh, which is just a blank canvas you can put different cards into. I like the design of this, it is really beautiful. You can change your icon, you can edit your name. Uh, so I could actually upload my own uh, icon right here. Uh, but the fun part about this is that you can actually start, if you wanted to, take notes right here. And it is supposed to work with Markdown. Uh, and I could add notes from here. Or if I wanted to, I could go on and I could add more of these cards. So we could have multiple cards right here. So let me go ahead and add another one um, like this. So... I will call this test uh, and you can go on and you can add different cards right here which uh, is great uh, which is a great feature but it is not like uh, something uh, other note taking apps do not offer but when we continue with this so let's say I wanted to uh, use AI to generate a custom card. Uh, so let's say I needed a, a Pomodoro timer, Pomodoro timer like this and press generate. Let's see what it does. Uh, hopefully it doesn't take too long. Again, it is still really early for all of these apps and then even uh, for this app. So it might have some bugs. It might be a little slow. But the point of this is that you can generate different apps using an AI prompt, which will appear right here. You can also embed web links if you wanted to. Uh, and you can also add installed apps so people are people are actually making apps on this and you can uh, store uh, these apps in your own space. I think it's called space. Uh, so we have WebCrate, which helps you organize links, articles, so sort of a bookmark manager. You have Dialog, which lets you chat with AI. Black Hole, your personal image hosting. Uh, build forms in minutes. You have 2048, and a game I love to play a lot. Uh, a context editor for your thoughts. So there are apps you can add on top of this. Here we have my Pomodoro timer. Let's look here. Here you can see the code displayed. Let's make this a little bit bigger. You can see the code displayed right here. We can start and stop this. So start, stop, reset. I will go ahead and I will delete this card. And another thing you can actually do if you know how to code is that you can actually code your own app inside of here as well, uh, which is great for all of you developers out there. Uh, for those of us who aren't developers, this doesn't work. We will have to use the AI. But as you can see, you can build a lot of things inside of here. Um, I have just been playing around with it. You can actually add custom CSS here as well. That is something I know how to do. <laughs> um, you can actually uh, customize the theme of this. Uh, so this is looking like really, really exciting. Uh, this is probably the one I'm uh, after lazy that I'm most excited about because this looks like a really fun application that you can do a lot with. I will probably have to play around with it and then um, come back with a video uh, to to talk about how uh, how good it is, what it is lacking, and do a deeper dive on an app like this. But this can be used for a lot of different things, and you can even add different horizons here. So. I would probably call it workspaces, uh, but they call it horizons. So you could go in and you can add different horizons here and you can change the name of them and you can even share them as well. Uh, design wise, this looks really beautiful, which is something that is important for me. Um, 
and um, just in general looking like a really exciting application. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below and I will try to get to them as soon as I can. Thank you so, so much for watching today's video.